Hey guys, it is Michelle and we are going to film a haul video today. I tried doing this earlier, but we ran out of memory card. I need to get a backup memory card and a backup battery for this camera. It would be a smart move. Why I haven't done it? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to get started with these first. I don't believe I've shown you these yet. Um, cause either I've gotten on different days, a few weeks apart, but I'm going to show you. So there is a shop not far from where I work that sells comic books. It's kind of like, it's a card shop. They do Dungeons and Dragons, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, what else is there? Magic, like there's a, there's a bunch of different genres that they do there. Um, they sell different like Funko Pops, like they have a bunch of different things. They're quintessentially a card store, but they do have some um, comic books as well. And I'm not, I've never really gotten into comic books, but I saw these and I had to grab them just because of how darn cute. I've been like putting it off for a while now because like the last thing I need to do is collect something else. But I found this and I had to. So they have Jim Henson Fraggle Rock um, comics. So they only have one and two right now. So I grabbed one of each. Um, the style of, as far as how the characters are drawn are pretty different. Let me find one that's, some of the illustrations are a little bit darker on the first one. Okay, here you go. So this is how I would kind of picture the Fraggles, like how I picture my Fraggles, like if they were in cartoon form, very similar to how they looked in the cartoon that was out. And this one has a more stylized style. Um, this one I would definitely say is a more modern take on the Fraggles. Let me just find a good, there's, this one's got a lot of doozers in it. Okay, so this one's got more of a modern take of how I think the Fraggles would look in today's world. Not necessarily my favorite type of illustrations, but cute nonetheless. Then this week I found these. Now I've been like eyeballing these for a while now, but one of them was missing. So I'm going to go online after I'm done filming this to see if I can find it. This is Rocco's Modern Life, or after Rocco's Modern Life. I'm not sure where the after goes. I think it's Rocco's Modern, oh, Rocco's Modern Afterlife. Okay, now it makes sense. So this is a set of four, but number two is missing. So this is the first one. It's this third, Dr. Hutchinson, and Filbert, Heifer, and there is Rocco. And then this is the last one. I do know most of these. I always forget. These are brothers. The, Chame the Chameleon Brothers, I think is what they're called. Spunky, Rocco, Dr. Hutchinson, Mr. Bighead, Heifer, Filbert. Not sure what this little beaver is. But anyway, so it looks like the bad zombies. Not knowing my favorite thing, but it's Rocco. So I gotta find the second one because I'm not gonna get started reading these until I have that one because it makes no sense to start reading one and not to get the other. So, okay. Next, I'm going to show you. I went to Five Below and I got this tote for five bucks. It's actually made really well for a tote. It says Feeling Naughty. It's got this really cute anchor on it. This is adorable five. I'm gonna start buying things like this to put gifts in just because these are reusable instead of just a regular gift bag. Although I recycled the gift bags I get for people. So, but I'm gonna start doing things like this because it's, how cute is that? It's made really well for five bucks. I was really impressed with that. Um, the other thing I got while I was there, I got this nail art stamping kit. Now I've been trying to get into this, but the ones I've been buying off eBay have not been very successful. So I found this little kit, it's just a cheapo. So I'm not expecting the best, but it's got this little cute, I think it only has one of these. Oh, it comes with three plates. Okay, that's cool. I didn't realize, I thought you just got the one, but that's cool. You get the scraper and all that jazz. So we're gonna give this a try. And this scraper is nicer than the ones I've been getting from eBay. They're just little cheap plastic things. So I had one of these when I was a teenager. I'm hoping for the best. It worked back then. The ones I'm using now are not working. So we'll give that a go ahead. Okay, the next thing, the last thing I bought from Five Below was this. This is by Freeman and this was four dollars. I gotta double check if they're cheaper in the store. I probably I probably got taken advantage of with this time I'm thinking about it but it smelled so good and it was kind of like one of those I've been wanting to try it. We're here. Let's try it. It's a clay mask and scrub. I love masks. I have so many. I really need to stop buying. 
but it smells so refreshing that's what got me so i can't wait to use this i use masks probably more than i should but i love it so let's see what else we got here um i guess i'll show you what i got at tj maxx and x and then my walmart finds so at tj maxx we got a mark jacobs lipstick and this is in the color mahogany. Now I had a sample of this from Sephora years ago. It was really nice. This is the bigger version of it. And the color is beautiful. I cannot wait to use this. The last thing I need is another lipstick in my life. But I really do like the formula of this one. Is that I've had one in, I think it's called Bang Bang. Um, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, I think is what it's called. This, I cannot wait to use. And next, I bought this bar of soap. It's made in France. A little like, little things coming off, but a little like, how did they, they, they even get this on here? I don't even know. I think that's how they did it. It was like that. Yep, that's how they did it. So it's a vegetable soap made in Italy. Oh, I thought it was a French one. I was looking at a French one, um, but it's lemon scented. Oh, it's so refreshing. It smells a little like lemon peds. Like it's got a little bling bling. This was $3.99 and it's super cute. Love it. Oh, and the lipstick was $7.99, which is not a bad price at all for our Marc Jacobs lipstick. Although I've been like a little worried some about like the authenticity of some of the stuff in those stores now after some things I've seen recently. So worry about that. But anyway, so next I went to Walmart, picked up a few things there. So the first thing, now, if you haven't tried it, I should do, if you guys want me to do a review on these, let me know. I've thought about it, but these are good. These are normally found in the kosher section, or Hebrew, Jewish sections, whatever you want to call it. This is called Bampa. They're peanut snacks. These things are delicious, guys, and they're pretty cheap. They're like 70 cents, typically. Um, it's really, really good. And what it is, it's kind of like a puffed cheese doodle, but it tastes like peanut butter, and they are so delicious. Um, the ingredients are super simple peanuts corn palm oil and salt like you can read the ingredients and one package is 160 calories these things are so so good i've bought two it's like one of my favorite little snacks um if you want me to do a review on them if maybe some of you haven't heard of them or seen them let me know but i love these things so much they are delicious love so a few things here Next thing I got was a new mascara because I had to replace mine. My friend got me into this one. It's pretty good. It is the uh, Maybelline Blackest Black Lash Sensational. And that's it. Fanning Reservoir Brush. It's good because they always discontinue the ones I love. So I'm sure at some point they will discontinue this because that's just how my life works. Mm. Next I had to get a new... Sunblock is the one I have is almost out. I love copper tone. It's just the smell of summer as far as I'm concerned. I just love that smell. Oh, it makes me so happy. I love that smell so much. I got it in SPF 50 and this is water resistant up to 80 minutes. And the packaging this year is really cute. The one I had was pink with the little girl with the little dog trying to pull off her bathing suit bottom because that's like iconic. Um, but yeah, so really like the smell of copper tone. That's my favorite. I know people either Banana boat or copper tone, your girl's all about the copper tone. The next thing that I got was this. I can't wait to try. My friend turned me on to this. This is by OGX. This is a soothing coconut coffee scrub and wash. And this stuff smells amazing, guys. Oh, it makes you want a, mac a macchiato, like so bad. It smells so delicious. I can't wait to use it. Um, and it's pretty big for what you pay. I think it's like around five bucks for this. And I like this company. I've used it before. Um, and I'm really excited for that. Next thing I got, and this is like one of those purchases like I didn't need, but it, it's like iconic. I actually wore the version of this made by Juice Bar back in the 90s. So this is Body Fantasies and Cotton Candy. It, it was like three bucks. I probably could have just gotten the bigger one for the same price. But it smells just like my teenage years. Love it. 
So I got so many sprays. This is the last thing I needed in my life, but I wanted it, so I got it. And here it is. So at some point, I will be using that. And then last but certainly not least, I found this. And this is really, really cool. This is a Pantene Festival Hair Essentials collection of must-have Pantene products. So that's what it looks like. This is box. You can kind of see what's in there. Um, oh, damn it. I didn't get a scissor to get. It's got one of those little like, blocks so you can't open it. Damn it. Think about this ahead of time. Do I have? And I'm running out of time. Okay, guys. So what we're gonna do here? There. We go. I do have one in close proximity. So but I don't want to break it because this is probably gonna break easily. Alrighty. And then the teeth. Probably gonna have to go do a part two. Looks like we are. All right, guys, let's do a part two because I really want to like get into this and I haven't looked into here myself. So we will be back for part two. I'll see you in a minute. <laughs>